the first method to find out the correlation is your scattered diagrams <coughs> now what are your scattered diagrams Set. scattered diagrams offer a graphic expression of the direction and degree of correlation now what you will do you will plot the variable on the graph one on the x axis and the other one on the y axis then you will make the dots and let's see what happens See if let's take we've taken the x variable here, y variable here, and we find a straight line of correlation. We get the graph by plotting x and y, we get the straight line. So there is a positive correlation, we denote correlation by small r. Now, if we get a straight line downwards, straight line downwards, which means the negative correlation, that is the perfect negative correlation minus 1. Now, this is a line, right? You get the points near to this line. Which means the positive correlation. Right now, you get a line from downward sloping from here to here, that is from y to x. You get a line which means they are negatively correlated, and you get the points which means these are negatively correlated and the, they have negative correlation. Now, you, if you get, after plotting the graph, if you get somewhere like this, which means that there is no correlation. So, in this way, you can find out the correlation using the scattered diagram. What are the merits and demerits now the merits are it is very simple method to find out the correlation only a glance at a diagram is enough and the third is scattered diagram also indicate whether the relationship is positive or negative what are the demerits the scattered diagram does not measure the precise extent of correlation Like from where, uh, how much it is correlated from, is it a 0 0.69 correlation or a 0 0.39 correlation, right? It does not give the relationship in the quantitative measure. Right, it does not give the quantitative measure of the relationship between the two variables. It gives only approximation it approximate idea about a relationship but it does not tell us how much the relationship is how much the actual correlation between the 
variable is now let's take do this example let's take weight on the x axis and height on the y axis So we are taking it from 150, then 160, 170, 180, 190 and 200. So make a kink in between because the, the other variables are also there from 0 to 150 and here from 0 to 40, 50, 55. 60 and 65. Now let's plot the dots here. First is 65 and 85. When your weight is 65, then your height is 180. So 65 and 180. You have some other point here. The other point is from 150 and 54. 150 and 54. Then uh, 55 and 158, 55 and 158, 65 and 165, 65 and 165, 165 is somewhere there. Then we have 60 and 175, 60 and 175, 54 and 163. Uh, 63 and 195. 63 is there, 195 is there. Uh, 50 and 155. 50 and 155. So by seeing this diagram, we can find out. See, it's on the upward direction from upward going. We can find out. So there is a positive relationship so by seeing at the scattered diagram we can find out there is a pos positive relationship between the variables so this is how you can find out the correlation using the scattered diagram i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us